Version 50 is finally upon us in the form of a public beta. There were three new moons added to the game and I really wanted to fully explore all of these and see if there was anything I missed besides Embryon in the last video. This video will also be going over detailed stats like power levels, interior complexity, and more. I put timestamps if you're just interested in that. Anyways, if you're new here, I make Lethal Company videos pretty much daily, so why not just sub since we share the same interests? Wow, look at us. We have uh, so much in common. Alright, so we totally missed a, a different moon last time called Embryon. Um, it's normally 150, but I have free moons mod on, and I have the free cam mod on. So we're just going to take a look at Embryon. It is Eclipse right now, but I didn't actually get to see it. So hopefully... Okay, cool. And we actually get it to work. We're just going to fly around in free cam, and we're going to take a look at this thing. Oh my god. So... <laughs> so, uh, Eclipsed is impossible. How many robots is that? I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, about 14 robots? What? They can fly? 15, there's a guy up there. They're just flying everywhere. Okay, these robots are insane. And they're like on right now too. It doesn't look like this moon is much. It's pretty bare bones. It's, I think it, it's just a test moon, someone said. Um, but yeah, there's just the main entrance and a fire exit way over here that I think you can just walk up to. And let's take a look at underneath. Also the... Oh. There's an... There's an... Uh, <laughs> Earth Leviathan too. Um, here's the interior. It's... Already got a thumper at the main entrance. A Hydra Deer. Another one. Second slime. A Bunker Spider. And it looks like a pretty small moon, too. Like, this is a really low complexity. I don't know if we'll be able to look at it through lethal quantities, but what I'm seeing right now, this is not very, uh, very complex. So I want to see what the loot value is on this. But, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's just like a purple rock moon with uh, not much going for it, really. But hey. Anything's better than nothing, you know? There could be different plans for this. They could add mining to the game for all I know. You never know with Zeekers, so... That's pretty cool. I'm gonna leave so we can see... Uh, how much scrap is on the moon, at least. Oh my god, that is insane. Okay, let's see how much scrap was there. 340. That is definitely not worth the 150 scrap that it takes to get there. Okay, so next let's look at adamants. Take a deep look at adamants, see if there's any see if there's anything we missed playing it alone yesterday. Alright. So this is adamants in all its glory. It's a pretty, it is a much more polished map than the other two, I think, in my opinion. This feels, this feels complete. I like this. I like this moon a lot. Um, it, there definitely was a bug, or I think Zeekers did not change the loot tables back, so it is just going to keep spawning and game loot until he fixes it. Um, but yeah, uh, last time we saw the tower doesn't even do anything. Now we got, like, these giant little, like, hills everywhere, and this nice lake, or river. It's really cool. Um, but I don't think there's, unless there's a log that we missed. Are there any logs? Let me look. The, the sign did indeed say to watch it. Watch out. That's funny. I actually just got stuck in that last time. I don't know that there's a new log on here does not really seem like it. All right, let's go down and look at the complexity. Oh. Okay. 
So this one, much more complex than uh, Embryon. Like, no spawns though. We have a Bunker Spider. This is a free moon, by the way. Uh, complexity looks pretty normal. This doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty small, actually. Like, you could full clear this, maybe. I mean, not with the amount of items that it's currently spawning. But this is full clearable. And as everyone knows, the spawn tables are insane. I mean, you got magnifying glass, chemical jugs. I mean, this room alone has like seven items. Like every room, it just has a bunch of items. It's pretty nuts right now. Like a loot room like this. We'll have four items in each locker. So, pretty nuts moon right now. But I think... Well, we got a floating grass texture up here. <laughs> um, I think that's it. I think that's it for adamants, really. I think we saw everything there is to know about adamants. Unless I'm missing a log, someone please let me know. Let's go ahead and leave like the scrap value, and then let's head over to Artifice. And then I'm going to try and get lethal quantities to work, so we can look at power levels, um, loot spawns, all that stuff. 1200. Awesome. Kind of nuts. Now we're gonna go to Artifice. This moon is normally 1500. And also, Artifice and Embryon, for those who don't know, do not show up on the moons list. Only Adamance does, the new one. So these two are kind of hidden. Uh, it is rainy right now, but that shouldn't stop our free cam. Alright. So, here is our Artifice. Fairly simple, with a little dam detail here, I guess. Did you cry? Hold on, let me turn up the brightness so we can see. Looking for any sort of secrets, anything else we don't really know. But, pretty straightforward, there's always gonna be robots spawning on this moon. There just is, there's a lot of robots on this moon. Um, the fire exit, very easily reachable right there. But I don't think there's not really too much. I do enjoy smaller things like this little spot you can go in. Um, there's. Hold on. I wanted to see if there's anything like up here. No. Oh! There's one in, in the chamber. But yeah, that is pretty much it for Artifice. So let me look at the complexity. Okay. Okay, normally I think it is a mansion interior. But they wanted to give us a factory interior. As far as complexity goes... It is kind It goes deep. Like, this is the entrance. You would have to go pretty far to reach the end. Which is the apparatus. This would suck. <laughs> But, I think there's a ton of loot, it seems. I mean, there has to be. For 1500, there better be. So, let me look. I mean, yeah, there's... didn't actually look at the loot spawns yet. I'm more interested in the enemy spawns inside. I heard that it's not crazy on the inside. It's mostly the outside, obviously, that's the problem. I mean, that's pretty much it. Let's go into... This is the foggy room you normally can't see in. Uh, normally, it... Looks like this, <laughs> but there's nothing in here, nothing in here, uh, that one we already looked at. So yeah, these are just to avoid the robots pretty much, and yeah, let's see if we can do a breakdown of all the power levels and stuff. Alright, what's up? Uh, so now we're here with the files, my good friend Nico Flopo, sub to him on YouTube, link in the description, um, sent me files that he data mines basically and these are all the moons we have adamant artifice and embryon we're gonna open them up with notepad plus plus and we're gonna take a look at them so we have it's kind of hard to see on the top here we have artifice and adamant and embryon already open two notable spots so first before we forget i want to go over the interior Basically the complexity as I call it, or the factory size multiplier. 
So for Artifice, the $1,500 moon, you're going to have a factory multiplier of 1.6 which is actually pretty low in comparison to Titan. Titan is about a 2.35, I believe. So this one is actually, for 1500 cost moon, pretty dang good. Now, if we take a look at Adamant, you can see that it has a factory size multiplier of 1.18, and Embryon has a 1.1. So these are much smaller moons. Uh, than Artifice, but still, they're just a lot smaller. Now, what we're all waiting for is the loot spawns, the enemy counts, stuff like that. So let's go and look at power level. So, one thing I noticed with Artifice and Adamance is these values are exactly the same. And that, I think, is where the problem with Adamant comes, because right now, it is spawning Tier 3 Moon Loot. Tier 4, even, if you want to call Artifice a Tier 4, for whatever reason. But it's spawning Tier 3 Moon Loot. So, Artifice has a minimum scrap of 28 and a max of 45. Uh, the scrap values, I don't think these matter too much because we've seen 1400 1200 i don't think 700 is very accurate um, but there's also scaling so i wonder if there's a multiplier on the scrap anyways the max enemies outside is 13 and the indoor is also 13 so these moons are kind of dangerous but not on the inside pretty much just on the outside they're they're really dangerous uh, because we've seen Titan has a power outside power level of 7, for example. Although that is a much smaller, like, distance. But still. Um, so yeah, that is that for both Adamants and Artifice. And as you can see, 28 scrap, 45 scrap. Same same power levels, 13 and 13. So these, these moons right now, if you want, I think... Um, it has been mentioned before that they're going to change Adamant's. I mean, I'd hope so because it is way too strong right now for a free moon. And I think it was just a it was just a mix up. I think that Zekers must have accidentally copied, or I don't know exactly what happened. But these values are just the exact same as these values. So, anyways, that goes to Embryon, um, probably the most unplayable map in the game right now. Um, the power levels I took a look at, they're not pretty. We have a max enemy power count inside of 8, and a max outside enemy power count of 70. So that means... Oh god, I don't even want to think about it. I mean, we we saw it eclipsed. That is, that is what Embryon is like every day. All that just for a minimum scrap of 6 and a max scrap of... 13. So this moon is kind of just, I think it's just a test moon. I don't think we were even really supposed to know about it. But yeah, that is that is all the stats for these moons. Um, that's pretty much all I got. I don't think, maybe there's a, a, a scrap multiplier. Day speed, factory side. Yeah, no, there's not a scrap multiplier that we can see. Uh, maybe there is and I'm missing it, but I don't think it's too important. The The main thing to gather is that Artifice and Adamants are the same in terms of loot and uh, enemy spots. So, all right, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. See ya. Also, here's a little side note. Nico sent me the power, power level and uh, info for the old bird, the giant um, robot. So uh, here's that if you're interested in it.